Good afternoon or good morning if it's the morning where you are. Today's post is going to show you how to save a finder search. Now I've got this finder search set up in my finder window here and it's basically searching for documents that are greater than 10 megabytes, basically big documents. Now setting up this every single time is a little difficult especially if there's more than one line or it's a very complex search. Now what we can do is we can save this search so we can quickly access it in the future. We're going to use this big save button over here. When we hit save a dialog box will pop open. So we'll give it a name, let's say large documents. Hit save. Boom. Now in our favourites sort of sidebar here, if I flick to my Macintosh HD, when I flick back to this it'll come back and it'll do this search every single time. This is a great way of sort of finding specific files or a way of searching for your documents or your hard disk and it's a quick way of finding it every single time. Search is actually stored somewhere so you can actually give it to someone else or you can remove it. Now if we open up our Macintosh HT folder and on the menu bar select go hold down the alt key and select library. Watch from my previous post if you want to see how to do this. Select library. Now from the list there should be an option called save searches. There it is. And large documents now appears. So now you can save this out somewhere else, give it to somebody else or make a backup of it. Or if you don't want it anymore you can actually delete it. Now deleting it from here We'll delete the search, but it will still say stay within this sort of sidebar, so you can open it up again. If you want to get it rid from the sidebar, right click on it and select remove from sidebar. And it's gone. Now you'll notice in the sidebar, I've brought the search term back, is when you right click you can select show search criteria. Now this will pick up this search criteria so you can actually edit it, let's say take it down to one megabyte as you can see there's a lot of songs there that have uh, popped up within uh, iTunes now if you hit save again it will actually update the search criteria so it's a quick way of altering searches as you go along if you have enjoyed this video please subscribe to the Mac Tricks and Tips channel for more videos